Hello there, SpyBot users, and welcome to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot at Safer Networking, and I'm here today to bring you the first video in our new series of SpyBot tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be downloading and installing the SpyBot 2.4 free edition. So welcome to today's video on how to download and install the SpyBot 2.4 free edition. I'm set up on a Windows 10 64-bit virtual machine running in VirtualBox. So let's get started with today's tutorial. The first step is to open up your web browser. Today I'll be using Microsoft Edge which comes pre-installed on Windows 10. So double click on the Microsoft Edge icon in the taskbar which will open up Microsoft Edge. Once the browser is loaded, simply type in SpyBot into the search bar or address bar, then press enter. You will see that the first entry in the results list is safernetworking.org, which is the official SpyBot website. So click the link to enter safernetworking.org. Once Safer Networking has loaded, click on the download button in the top left hand corner, which will bring you to our downloads page. Scroll down in the Home User section, then click on SpyBot Free Edition. This will bring you to our Mirrors page. At the top of the page you will see a list of main mirrors, which contains links to some of our partner sites who host the download for SpyBot 2.4. Scroll down again and you will see ad free downloads at Safer Networking Limited, which is our own hosted mirror site. So we are going to click on Download Safer Networking Limited number 1. This will bring you to the SpyBot download mirror and also makes a suggestion of donating to Safer Networking. Donations go towards maintaining the free edition and also supporting the SpyBot forum. And there is also an option to upgrade to a licensed version of SpyBot plus antivirus. But for now we are going to click on download. Then you can see at the bottom of the browser window that Microsoft Edge is asking what do you want to do with SpyBot 2.4.exe which is the SpyBot 2.4 installer file. Simply click on save and the file should begin downloading and should finish within a couple of seconds. The download is now finished and Microsoft Edge is running a security scan on the file. Once this has finished, we can click on run to start the SpyBot 2.4 installer. We then see a prompt from the user account control to which we click yes to allow the installer file to run. And I'm going to minimize my browser while the installer launches. The first window of the installer that we see is a select setup language window, which is the language we wish to use during the installation and also when running SpyBot. SpyBot comes with the following languages. English, German, French, Italian, Hungarian, Polish and Russian. We're going to select English, then click OK. Welcome to the SpyBot Search and Destroy Setup Wizard. This will install SpyBot Search and Destroy on your computer. It is recommended that you close all other applications before continuing. Click Next to continue or Cancel to exit the setup. So we will click Next to continue with the installation. The next window we see is the Donations Welcome window, which gives you the option to donate to Safer Networking if you wish. We are going to select the first option, which is Installing SpyBot for Personal Use and we'll decide later. The next window that we see asks for the installation and usage mode type. The first option we see is, I want to be protected without having to attend to it myself. This installation mode will install all of the default options and should be used by novice users who do not wish to configure SpyBot themselves and would rather stick to the default configuration. The other option is, I want more control, more feedback and more responsibility. This option should be selected by more advanced users who do not want to install all of the defaults but would rather customize their own installation. So we are going to select I want more control, more feedback and more responsibility to go through with a custom installation. Click next to continue with the setup wizard. The next window we see is the license agreement. Please read through the terms of the license agreement before accepting. So we will click I accept the agreement then click next to continue with the setup wizard. The next window is the select destination location window. This allows you to choose the installation path for SpyBot 2.4. We are going to stick with the default path and click next to continue with the setup wizard. 
The next window we see is a select components window, which allows us to choose which components we would like to include within our installation of SpyBot 2.4. These include translations, professional tools, files necessary for antivirus scanning, analyst tools for creating your own detection patterns, and Windows security integration. We are going to leave all of the components within the installation of SpyBot, so we will click next to continue with the setup wizard. The next window we see allows us to create a start menu folder for SpyBot 2.4. Click next to continue with the setup. The next window we see is the additional tasks window. This allows us to choose if we want to set up scheduled tasks for system scans, immunizations, and for SpyBot updates. Although task scheduling is not available in the free edition and is only available in licensed editions of SpyBot plus antivirus. This window also gives us the option to include SpyBot's integration features, which adds SpyBot options to the Windows Explorer context menu, and also gives SpyBot run options in the autoplay window. So we will click next to continue with the setup. The next window is a ready to install window, which is the final window in the setup wizard. This window gives a brief summary of all the options we have selected while going through the setup wizard. Once you have confirmed that everything is correct, click the install button and the installation of SpyBot 2.4 free edition will begin. We can now see that SpyBot 2.4 is being installed. The installer is extracting files into the SpyBot program files folder. And we can now see that the SpyBot Search and Destroy Start Center icon has appeared on our desktop. And we now see that the installation wizard is complete. We are then given the option at the end of the wizard to open the Start Center, start a system scan, configure SpyBot Search and Destroy, i.e. open settings, or check for new malware signatures. For now we are going to untick each box and finish the installation. So that's it for today's video on downloading and installing the SpyBot 2.4 free edition. So thanks very much for watching and we hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please like, share and subscribe. Or you can leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch by sending us an email to teamspybot at spybot.info. Or by using the request support page in the support center on our website. So thanks again for watching. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Stay safe, keep on searching, keep on destroying. See you soon.